Hi guys, welcome back to Football Manager 2019 here with Rangers. Uh, this episode we're going to be looking for an attacking midfielder as well as playing the second uh, second leg against Stour Bucharest. So let's have a little look at the transfer listed uh, chaps here. You've got Laszlo Benes here is actually loan listed. I think he's a pretty decent player. He's got good technique. We can obviously see all the stats right now. I think he's a good wee player though. Um, good passing technique, good vision as well, teamwork, uh, work rate in there too, good decisions, good first touch, can finish and dribble a little bit as well. I think we should try and get him on loan. Uh, I'm expected to make a 2,000 wage contribution or 4,000 if he doesn't pay. Yeah, fine, I'll take it. He's a good lad. These are people who are of course loan listed. Uh, we'll look at transfer listed. Uh, right now as well transfer status let's see um, Finn Bartles is more of a wide player uh, yeah he's more of a wide player 31 year old Finn Bartles uh, Marco Fabian here Mexican is more of a central player but uh, 26 grand he gets a week and he's listed at 1.6 which is our entire budget so we can't really be affording that um, we've got Johnny Williams here for Palace who He's a decent player, but I don't think he's that great. He can pass, get a bit of technique, decent first touch, but there's a lot of holes in his technical game there. He's okay. I think he's okay. No better than that. Uh, Kenny McLean is pretty much likewise. He's a decent player. He's probably better than Williams. Uh, he's listed for just under a million. Let's take him. Screw it. Let's reunite him with... Uh, Let's reunite him with Ryan Jack. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't for the injury to Ajaria. I think I'd definitely prepare, prefer McLean to uh, Laszlo Bennis. Ben Reeves at Charlton looks alright, but no the kind of player we need. I think I'm going to settle on Kenny McLean. Uh, certainly a good player who will do his for now. Ah, I was going to say, you shouldn't be wanting too much in terms of wages either. He's coming off an injury. Give him a two year deal. I don't want to be giving him. See, he's locking it at three years. Fine. If you want it for three years, you're only getting eight grand. Okay, 8.25. Right, fine. I'm, I'm happy enough with that. 8.25 grand. He's still out for another month or so, but we should be able to get through that uh, just by adjusting a little bit using what we already have here. Uh, Ejaria, if I remember correctly, is out for four months or something. So quite a while, but not long enough to terminate. Yeah, two to three months. So again, he'll be out for a while, but not so long that I feel we need to terminate him. Can Arfield play in that role? Yeah, he can kind of do that for now. I think we should get by with Arfield in there. Uh, yeah, probably Arfield can do that for now. Uh, let's just bump him up so we can get this squad properly looked at Jack in there alongside Koulibaly uh, Halliday I suppose probably coming onto the bench I'll have another look at that before we actually dive into the game against Stubber Bucharest but I think that's what we're going to do we're going to go with Kenny McLean coming in permanently rather than getting another loanee in you know rather than getting a loanee in to replace the loanee in Ajaria I'd rather actually sign a player that we can have permanently on the books and as I say we can reunite McLean and Jack from the Aberdeen days uh, there's a couple of wee scout reports going on there but nothing important ok and it's time for the Stubble Bucharest second leg we'd of course I believe we're 2-1 down is that correct uh, no we're 1-0 down from the first leg so we're needing two goals here to go through uh, anybody we want in, I mean, Flanagan, McCrory, Goldson, Fodringham, Halliday, Middleton, and Lafferty. It's probably a decent enough bench. I do actually like Diekmeyer, but we'll go with Tavernier for now. I think Flanagan's on the bench because he can cover both left and right back. 
So, just to summarise, that would be McGregor, Tavernier, Worrell, Katic, Barisic. Well, do we want Worrell and Katic? Yeah, Goldson's been the poorest of the three. So we'll go McGregor, Tavernier, Worrell, Katic, Barisic, Jack, Koulibaly, Kandias, Arfield, Kent, Morelos. That would be the team who will hopefully get us through to the Europa League group stages here. It's not going to be super easy, but I think we can do it here at home. We're going with a fairly defensive setup and looking to counter, it looks like. Right, go out there and get revenge for what happened last time we played this lot. Here we go. Good early pressure put on them. Force them all the way back to Storari. Okay, early corner for them. Adam puts it in. It's flicked. Jesus, it's just goal wide there. That worried me for a second. Now, as with the corner, Barisic and header away. Jack to pick it up. Come on, get his early goal here. Barisic to Jack again. Just lay it back, there you go, Tavernier back to Banisic, Jack, Banisic, Jack, they're playing it around too much, get it into the danger, Koulibaly, Tavernier opens up, blazes it, got to do better than that I'm afraid, right come on, 15 minutes gone, bossing it possession wise here, had the best chance of the game as well, uh, I'll tell them to push forward here, we do need to score, one goal of course would take it to extra time, so we're not in a mad rush to score, but if we are going to go through in 90 minutes, we do need two. Tavernier finding Arfield. Back to Tavernier, getting down the right. Swings it in. Oh, that's a terrible ball. Easy for Storari. And there's still a goalkeeper now has gloves on it. He can bowl it out to either fullback if he wishes. Taking his time and then eventually launching it. Waddle will head it away. Comes back at him, but he cushions it to Koulibaly. Out wide, that's a good pass. Candias, come on, get forward. Can he put a good ball in? It's a good delivery. It's Morelos and there's one apiece. There you go. Exactly what we needed. Great ball in. Lovely header attacking it. And there's one each. Praise. Well done, lads. Of course, that just levels things up. A goal for Stiller now would, would require uh, us to score two again. As it comes into the box, it's deflected away. Comes back. Deflecting all around the place off the post. Jesus Christ. We're trying to make this as hard as possible here. As Teixeira... We'll whip this corner in. We need to defend well again. McGregor this time comes and commands. I don't blame him for taking that in his own hands there. His defence wasn't exactly looking solid. Uh, Ryan Kent's been quite poor today. I suppose we could throw Middleton on at half-time, see what he can do for us. Get back out there and grab that goal to win this game for us. Uh, Kent, as I say, will bring him off. He is booked already and he hasn't had a great game today, so we'll take him off for Middleton. Koulibaly to Jack, there we go, come on, here we go, free kick, Candias, over the wall, cushions the bar on the way over, good start to the half, here we go, another free kick, Candias swings it in, dangerous ball, and Katic turns it home, it is 2-0, 2-1 in aggregate, and this will be us going through to the group stage of the Europa League, it's exactly what we want, good showing today for the squad, Arfield's handled it pretty well playing up there, and not his most comfortable position, not over yet though a goal for Stiller of course sends them through Tavernier good interception Jack to Kandias come on get down the right son moves it quickly Morelis made a good move and it is three all of a sudden Stiller need two and I think we can feel pretty comfortable I'm going to bring uh, Halliday on for Koulibaly he needs some fitness that Halliday and Koulibaly seems to be playing every game so we'll give him a wee rest for half an hour Candias is corner now. Can we make absolute certain it's back to Middleton who's at the bar? We are looking good now, of course, but one more would utterly kill this. Banisic, dangerous ball again. Katic deflecting all over the place. And how does that stay out the net? Honestly, no idea how that stays out. Can we find another option? Jack. And Halliday now. It just seems to have broken down. Yeah, Jack just gives it away there. Morelos obviously on the hat trick. I would probably be looking to bring on Lafferty for him now, but I'll let him stay out there for the hat trick. Ba a hat trick. Barisic can come off for Flanagan. Ten minutes to go. Candias with his three assists looks to be man of the match today, unless Morelos can grab that third goal. Candias now whips it deep. It's Halliday. Oh, that's a bit of a biscuit tin here. That is right over the bar. But 21 shots to their four. They've given us a couple of scares throughout this game, but we've always looked comfortable, really. 3-0 on the day, sending us through. 
Is that it now? It's a corner there. You go. Final whistle goes. 21 4. The shot count here. Passionate. Very pleased, boys. Very, very pleased indeed. They've stepped up to the mark at home in Europe every single time so far. Who's this guy? Ivanovic. In there. He looks good, actually, this young Serbian guy. He'll probably fail to get a work permit, though. Yeah, that's what I worried about. Uh, Kulabali won the two days. That's fine. And um, we got 2.62 million for reaching the group stage. So we'll just get the Kenny McLean deal tied up and we'll get the group stage drawn. We'll finish the transfer window and then next time we will have that old firm game against Celtic. We don't want to take part in the media for the transfer window because frankly it's just an annoyance. McLean set to sign. Accept. Ben is set to move on loan. We will cancel because we're getting McLean in instead. And he has three stars. Not a bad player in there by any means. Yep. Better than anybody else in that position where Ajari is playing at the moment. Still out with his sprained ankle ligaments for a little bit. Do you know what? We'll play the Celtic game this time as well. Screw it. We might as well. This episode hasn't dragged on as long as I thought. I thought we'd be scouting out that uh, attacking midfield option for longer, but Kenny McLean just kind of popped out to us and we've took him, obviously. Right, let's get this drawn. We might as well just draw all the first three seeds out and then we'll go through it slowly for ourselves. Celtic in this as well means obviously they failed to qualify for the Champions League. So Anderlecht, Milan and Partizan would be a relatively tough group, but not the worst. We don't get that. Benfica, Krasnodar and Zurich, pretty much the same. Tough, but not the worst. Um, Bayer Leverkusen, Ludogorets and Rennes would be quite tough as well. We don't get that. Chelsea, Sparta, Prague and Eintracht, Frankfurt would be quite harsh, I feel. Nope. Sporting Lisbon, Fenerbahce and Real Betis is very difficult. And we get that. Of course we get that. Who does Celtic get? They've got Dynamo Kiev, Standard, Bronby. They should be able to handle that without too much bother. But aye, that's quite harsh on us. Sporting Lisbon, Fenerbahce and Real Betis. We're pretty much just going to look to be competitive in that group. I don't see us getting out of it. You never know, but I don't see us getting out of it. I mean, a lot of that will depend, actually, on how good Sporting Lisbon are. I know they had a bit of a mass exodus with the likes of Rui Patricio going to Wolves, for example, I think. They had a problem at their training ground and a lot of their players basically just walked out on their contracts. So let's get into this game now against Celtic. We're obviously going to play more defensively, see how that goes for us. Uh do we go with a fluid counter or do we go with this? We'll go with this Catanaccio thing. Apologies if you can hear the fireworks outside the window. That's what I get for filming this on the 5th of November. Oh come on, did they buy the whole factory? I really hope you can't hear that now because it's quite bloody annoying. There we go. Hopefully that's that's the last of it. We don't get interrupted when we're actually playing this game here. It's just going to take a while, obviously. For the transfer window to close, it always does take a little while to process transfer deadline day. Uh, the brief, the tactical briefing. Right, let's actually fill in this squad here then so we can do the tactical briefing with the, the correct players picked in the lineup. So the goalkeeper will be Alan McGregor as always. Uh, the centre backs will be Katic, uh, Goldson will play as the sweeper, and Worrell will be the other defender. Uh, the right wing back, I'm going to throw Diekmeyer in. Screw it, why not? Anchorman will be Ross McCrory for now, and uh, the left wing back. It says Barisic can't do it, but I'm going to throw Barisic in there. And I'm gonna yeah, he's already been trained to be a wing back. If you can be a left back and a left midfielder, how can you know do the thing in the middle? That doesn't make sense. Um the Mitsala in there could be Ryan Jack and the deep line playmaker. Uh where's Koulibaly away? Yeah? There's Koulibaly there. Yep, and he can play as a ball winning midfielder. Perfect. Up top we'll go with Lafferty and Morelos. Bench will be Fodringham. Uh, Macaulay, I suppose, since we need a centre back there. Flanagan, Halliday, uh, Arfield, Middleton, 
Hindi ass. Right, let, not Hallery, let's take Hallery out. We'll put Kent on there as well. So we have Kent and Kandias on there. That'll be the lineup that we go with. Never played with this Catanaccio style before, so we'll see how it does. Um, it's quite defensive style, about getting in their face and not letting them play. So we'll see how it goes for us. Season 1 up against a far superior Celtic squad. It's going to be a really tough game for us. Um, in our Football Manager 2018 journey, we got scalped quite a bit early doors when we were taking on Celtic in the old firm games. I wouldn't be surprised if something similar happens uh, here, but never know. The boys might surprise us. Let's just not get embarrassed, please. They're going with a 4-2-3-1 of sorts here. They're going with Gordon, then that Lecue, Boyata, Ayer, Tierney, McGregor, Mabumbu, Forrest, Rogic, Brun Larson and Odson Edward. A tough team to face. Um, we're underdogs here, let's cause an upset. I'm just going to tell them that. Um, incidentally, I would never tell them that in real life if I was a Rangers manager, but game-wise, let's tell them that. Morelos to Lafferty. Can we get an early chance here? Dijkmaier tries to cross it, it is a corner after 15 seconds I'll take that chance to load up the box here Barisic's delivery and it comes away by Boyata comes to Morelos, can it go back to Barisic? no, nah, just goes back to Katic that's fine, just maintain possession use the goalkeeper if you need to they are having obviously the most of the ball here just above 60% possession if we get to 20 minutes, I'm going to praise them for keeping it at nothing each. Seven shots to nil in Celtic's favour, but obviously no real chances created as of yet. Here's Malumbu now, though, and McGregor. They look to try and press his Tierney, Malumbu. Bit too much space there, McGregor on the edge of the box. Tees up Forrest, just over. <sighs> First real chance of the game, but we survive it. Corner now, though, Forrest puts it in. Katic away. Rogic picking it back up. And Forrest pings it to Christopher Ayer. It's opening up on the right here. Ayer's shot loops just over the bar. And we survive once again. 10-1 shot count. No, we are getting battered a wee bit. Forrest picks up a knock. That's pretty good. They're looking quite tired, actually. Forrest's free kick whipped in deep. Headed across by Edward and in by McGregor. Well, we've been a bit limp in the first half, to be fair. If we'd have got through to half time there then we would have said it was a success, but they're going in one up, 16 shots to our two. It's frankly no good enough. I think, uh, well, obviously we're going to tell them we expect to see much better in the second half. I think maybe we switch to this more fluid counter-attacking, and it's a 4-4-2. Uh, I'll take Warrell off, since he's been the poorest of the three centre-backs. I'll throw Ryan Kent out there on the left. Uh, you put on the right. I'll put Arfield on to the right. We'll take McCrory off. We'll go Jack as a box to box midfielder in the centre there. Koulibaly as a ball winner. And we'll let Kent and Arfield be whatever they want to be. Kent wants to be a winger. Arfield wants to be a defensive winger. That's fine. We'll let them do that. Lafferty can be a deep line forward Morelos wants to be a pressing forward which I will also let him do I have no problem with that whatsoever uh, Diekmeyer wants to be a sporting or automatic wing back in fact I'll let him be an automatic wing back and Barisic wants to be an attacking full back which fine I have no problem if we get caught out now because at the end of the day we're going to get beat if we don't do something good tackle there to start the second half let's see if we get anything even if we show a bit of spirit but still ultimately get beat, it'll be a bit better than that first half. That's Forrest injured properly now. On comes Sinclair. Going towards the last 20 minutes. They've really not created that much against us at all today, but it's just a shame that they do have the go-ahead goal. I think we'll throw the kitchen sink at them in the last 10. Right, let's kitchen sink them now. Let's go very attacking, in possession, extremely high tempo, extremely direct passing, uh, in transition, counter, counter press, distribute quickly, that's it. Uh, let's see, I want to take long kicks and just get it up there now. Out of position, we need to be, uh, out of possession, pardon me, we need to really be pressing them. 
getting stuck into them prevents shot distribution, tighter marking. Basically, the most aggressive we can possibly play is what we need to do. Um, I think one more thing I'll change. I'm going to push Ryan Kent up here to be a winger. I'm going to push Arfield up. I'm actually going to take. Uh, I'm going to take off. I'll take Ryan Jack off for Arfield. Arfield can be an advanced playmaker or something, but I'm wanting to basically get Candeas on there on that right hand side. He can play in the right, supporting winger. Kent can play in the left. Let's just try and do what we can. So here we go. Banasic with the throw. Morelos knocks her on. Going to be picked up though by that Lecue boy. Griffiths now driving forward. Lays it to Sinclair. Puts it in. Edward, are we going to get caught in the counter? That's a good block there. Lecue in. Away by Diekmeyer. Comes back to him though. Come on. Tierney now. Nick it. Nick it. It's nicked by Candias. Come on on the counter over the top. It's Lafferty. Can he find Morelos? He whips it in. Morelos! One each. <laughs> Now what do we do? <laughs> I'm going to drop them back. I'm going to play for the point. I'm going to play for the point. I don't think we can get two. I don't think we can get too uh, confident here. We're going to try and waste time. Uh, we will take the long kicks and everything. Uh, when possession is lost, we want to try and regroup. Possession's one, absolutely try and counter quickly, we'll do that. Out of possession, let's just drop the line of engagement a wee bit here. Right, let's do that. And just try and get through this. We could nick it, we never know. I think they're probably going to try and kitchen sink us now, so I don't want to go too defensively and just retreat into a shell just now, because we could catch them on the break, but 1-1's one, a good result. I think I'll be happy to take this. Come on, hold. It looks like a point, unless we can nick this. Candias's cross goal to knocks it down, but only into the gloves of Craig Gordon, and it looks like one apiece. Gordon launches it. Full time at one each. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to say tactical masterclass. <laughs> Brilliant getting a point here. It puts us both on 10 points after four games. Three wins and a draw each perfect could not have asked for for better than that the way that we win the league this season is by beating everybody else in the league that's it i don't fancy our chances against them head to head their squad is just too strong but if we can do the business against everybody else and just grind out things like that maybe we can even beat them at home i don't know yet i'm not sure i've not seen how we play against them at home but as i say we really need to get stuck into them in games like that and a point there is brilliant especially considering the way they were battering us in the first half and although we did ultimately concede in the first half I think maybe that defensive formation we were playing has stopped it from being 2-3-4 at half time because we have seen that in previous uh, in Football Manager 18 we did get scalped off them a good couple of times trying to go toe to toe so listen, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. That's Europa League qualification in the bag. First old firm game played, went to Celtic Park, avoided the defeat. Um, it was a good jubilant mood in the camp now, I suspect, after a late equaliser. We are joint top with Celtic on 10 points after four games. Can I argue with that? As I say, listen, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please do drop down below and leave a like on the video if you are. You can, of course, subscribe to the channel to follow the progress here. See if we can indeed win the title in season one, as well as seeing how any new additions to the squad get on, like Kenny McLean, for example, who will be de debuting in about a month's time. But mostly, as I always say, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time when we're going to be taking on, let's just check the old schedule, we'll be taking on Dundee and Kilmarnock. Both of those will be at home, first one in the league and the second one in the cup. So I hope to see you guys for that one. See you then.